A warm welcome to the channel, Saturday the 27th of April 2024. Schools in China, a deep dive into China's education system. What is it like? Now, I could imagine that you will be comparing to what it was for you, maybe, or if you're a very young person, what it is like for you right now. So without further ado, are you ready? Let's hop into it. In China now, it is the rainy season and you may have seen some of the, my videos related to the wet and crazy weather in Guangdong province, which is very close to Hong Kong. But getting to school, especially this time of year for the kids, can be a little bit of a nightmare. <laughs> School in China starts quite early, as early sometimes as seven o'clock. Now that's when the classes actually start. But before that, you may have to do some physical education before the morning exercise. And in some schools, it can be just, you could say, similar to a PE class in the United States or in the UK, but at 6.30 in the morning. But in other schools, it could be like this. <laughs> When you do get to school, and maybe you even stay in the school like a boarder in a dormitory, education is very different and it's very politically based. And you would say, China is good. And once again, I'm going to say the same thing. I say near enough every day, America is bad. 为中华之崛起而读书庆幸自己生长在中国 But they do have some high-tech equipment. Now, if you remember your school days, it was the whiteboard. That was quite modern, uh, but it was the old chalk and blackboard. But nowadays, it seems to be these artificial, intelligent, electronic screens that you can do near enough anything on. <laughs> And after a couple of hours of study, maybe a break time where you can just push your chair back, pull your chair back and have 40 winks. That was nice. That didn't happen in my school. After a little nap, maybe a bit of time for some indoor exercise. A bit of dancing, perhaps?
then it may come to your lunch break. You can play, you can skip, even cook. Yes, in primary school. What was it like before the early days of the development of modern China? You could say possibly in the 70s, maybe 80s. Well, here's a sneak little bit of footage which I found for you. Take a look at this. <laughs> People of the world unite and defeat the US aggressors and all their running dogs. But there will be some fun activities, especially in the last term before the summer holiday when the weather does get warmer and some competitions um, in the arena or your um, sports stadium in your school. After a hard day at school, you would possibly finish not at 3.30 or 4 o'clock, which is standard, you could say, in the West. It's more like 5, 6 o'clock. So you've been at school near enough close to 12 hours, but your parents will pick you up in the absolute chaos. and those parents do not want you to take the school bus back home. Your parents may work something called 996 in China, which is 12 hours a day, six days a week. So sometimes the students will be kicked out of school and they would have to wait for their parents to pick them up at home, but at school to get home. Xi Jinping may suffer the same situation with the education in China. Please note, it is better than it was before, but it's got a long way to go. And Ping, well, he would wait around as well, impatiently. That brings us to a close on Saturday, the 27th of April, 2024. Cambodia at the moment is going through a heat wave. It's like 40 degrees in the morning. And the time of recording is around about 9.30. And some good news is here that on the horizon, it is going to rain, which is just going to bring everything down again. Many people are having problems with water. Many people are having problems with their air conditioning, like I am here. Um, this room is at 30 degrees and I've had the air conditioning on at 22 for about three hours now. Whew. So if you're going to Southeast Asia this year, I would avoid going now or even May time, June. It will cool down, but it will rain a lot. 
going a little bit off topic, I will wish you a happy day. Like, subscribe, donate, share. Thank you. Bye-bye.